How's it going? Do you live here? What's going on? Man? Sit down. Sit, 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 sit. Sit, sit, sit. Sir. Can you sit down? I'll talk to you. Okay. Stop. No, come sit. on, man. Sit. Come on, man. Don't do this. Sit down. Why are you asking me to go out of here? Do you live here? Yes or no? What's going on, though? Who? Charlie 777. No, back up. Stop. 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 Stop, Stop man. What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this uh, Tuesday. I'm doing real good myself. Uh, I come across a couple of stories that I wanted to discuss with you guys about, well, policing in this country. Okay, the policing is, uh, as we know, off the chain. This video that we just watched, you know, um, this brother that you see sitting before you okay was sitting in his car from what I understand and he was getting ready to get out of his car on his way into the house or his apartment to change clothes for work just before he was accosted by a police officer that was concerned about basically what was he doing there okay do you live here you know what have you and also too many times, okay, when situations like this occurred, as we know as well that a lot of uh, victims, uh, black people have been victimized, murdered, when it comes to situations like this, okay? Sitting in the car, you know, a police officer um, approaches him, you know, asks him questions, uh, who are you, what are you doing around here, or whatever, you know? And then next thing you know, some basically the person that's being questioned these things are shot or even killed some beaten took it in or whatever you understand as you can see when this brother right here asked the officer what's the problem you know uh, why are you asking me these things the police officer immediately went to code calling charlie 777 he was calling for backup you understand it didn't take all of that so I can assure you that this brother at that point in time understood that his life was in jeopardy he feared for his life okay a police officer comes out of nowhere and just ask you you know what are you doing here do you live here whatever you know and uh, with everything that's happening in this country in this day and age Nine times out of ten, this man thought that this police officer, officer was ready to try to kill him, you know. So, um, an altercation ensued. They wrestled and some kind of way a gun was pulled. And it is alleged that this brother right here shot the officer in the head. We really don't know what happened. We wasn't there. You couldn't really see what was going on in the scuffle, okay. Now, my point is this. Like I said, this happened in uh, Miami, uh, Daytona Beach. Florida all right my thing is this policing is off the chain in this country simply because you cannot trust these damn cops and I understand why this brother did what he did okay why should he have to lay his life down why should he not have to protect himself from some rogue cop that's uh on some kind of mission to take his life under pretense circumstances now they caught this 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 brother right here has since been caught okay um they offered first a uh, hundred thousand dollar reward you know i guess that wasn't enough and then he upped it another hundred thousand dollars and two hundred thousand so you know right there they was gonna <laughs> they was gonna get some results somebody was gonna you know stitch but in the meantime, oh man, I'm gonna tell y'all, y'all, um, they had black reverends, um, black um, committee members praying for this officer and praying that this man be caught and all that. Y'all should have seen him. It was ridiculous. Okay. And this thing right here, what bring me to my next story? Black father speaks out against. New York trooper after 11-year-old daughter dies in traffic stop. Tristan Goods say state trooper rammed the car 
of uh, well ram uh, the back of his car causing an incident that killed his daughter okay and this is the father right here Tristan Goods and I think this is his daughter name uh, I think her name is Monica Goods if I'm not mistaken now the officer that did this is said to be on desk duty this happened in New York different state but nevertheless it's the same damn thing all right same damn thing but where was the prayers where's the prayers for this father and his daughter and the loss of his daughter you know the whole family where's the prayers for them why isn't this cop you know sought after put in prison or put in jail for what he did this is my point okay this is what i'm talking about is with the hypocrisy in this country between everyday civilians and policing okay let's get into this story a criminal probe has been launched against the new york state police department after a pursuit between a trooper and family that left a child dead last december tristan goods spoke out about the confrontation with trooper christopher baldner for the first time on sunday june 20th with the new york daily news goods who is black was traveling with his wife april and two daughters 11 year old monica and 12 year old tristina on i-97 upstate three days before christmas when baldner pulled him over he, he was screaming at me you were going 100 miles an hour okay and you shook my car good recall to the daily news i said the traction trailer in front of me shook your car he continued i had my hands on my steering wheel i didn't get out of my car well get out of the car i was no threat to him i asked for a supervisor goods said the trooper asked if there were any guns or drugs in the car okay right there what the hell did that have to do with speed you see my point here we go with the bullshit with the way these cops are in this day and age in this country Tr uh tristan goods could have asked the cop the same damn thing which we know he got guns and more than likely from the way this cop was acting because i re i briefly read some of this story he might have had drugs in his squad car okay but let's continue my wife said she was tired and he said i don't give a shit if you're tired he recounted the 39 year old said baldner returned to his police cruiser and when he came back to the car he flooded the vehicle with pepper spray goods added that the trooper was well aware that his two daughters were in the car he didn't warn us well it says he didn't warn us he was going to use the pepper spray goods recall he didn't say get out of the car you're under arrest fearing for his family's safety good say he instinctively drove away and who wouldn't do that when you got a fucking dumbass cop just hell bent on doing harm than other words than just if that's if this guy was speeding writing a ticket and letting his family go on about the merry way okay to continue i didn't know what he was going to do next he explained I was like, holy shit, this guy is going to kill me now. Daily News reports that Baldner pursued the family and rammed the back of their car with his cruiser. Eight seconds later, he hit the back of the, their car a second time. It was then that Goods SUV hit a uh, guardrail and flipped over, ejecting Monica outside of the vehicle. The 11 year old reportedly died at the scene. You see this shit? You see what I'm saying now? What I'm saying is this where are the prayers for this man and his family and his, their loss of their daughter after what this murderous fucking cop did, right? But I digress. We are confident that our client's accounts, what happened, are consistent with the scientific evidence and the forensic evidence from the scene. Good's lawyer Joseph O'Connor told the outlet. After the crash, Goods attempted to get out of the car to find his daughter. However, he says Baldner pulled a gun on him and once again asked if there were any drugs or guns 
in the car. Goods also claimed that Trooper later interviewed Tristina for hours without a, a parent pres present. Okay. Um, it is just so awful. Excuse me. It is just so hurtful. Um, the guy was cr uh, crazy. He said it's illegal what he did. And I agree. It's definitely illegal. Okay. And, and that's what I'm saying. This cop ass should be put in the put under jail. It's been, well, this was last December 2020 is when this took place. Okay. But I was going to say it's been a year, but regardless, it's been enough time for this damn cop to have been prosecuted. I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay. Um, it goes on to say this should have been a traffic ticket. O'Connor added. New York State Attorney General. Uh, Lydia James is conducting a criminal investigation into the department and Baldner, according to William Duffy, a spokesman um, for the state police. The troopers remains employed on desk duty. Okay. While we understand the desire for answers to the many questions surrounding this incident, we can't address the details until these investigations are complete. Duffy said, Duffy, you full of shit. You are full of shit, and that's just all there is to it. Because, see, what you're doing is you're covering for your rogue-ass officer, okay? He's a murderer. He's off the chain. He was a loose cannon. And I bet you, if you dig deep into his past, you'll find a lot of these kind of situations going on where he terrorized, you know what I mean, while wearing a badge. You understand what I mean? That's the only time they're tough, either wearing a badge or in some kind of uh, white wannabe supremacist group, Okay? White want to be supremacist. Remember I said want to be supremacist. Not that they are. A lot of people need to start understanding that and stop giving power to them by calling them supremacist. You see, because ain't nothing supreme about these low likes. That's just what it is. But the cops should be put behind bars for the murder of this man's 11-year-old daughter. And all the damages, he should be sued. That police department, more than likely, they covered, they covered this shit up and kept him on desk duty, you see. So, back to 26-year-old, uh, the brother, uh, Otho, um, Otho, in other words, <laughs> can't remember his, his name. More than likely, you know, this man feared for his life, and that's just all there is to it. He feared for his life. Otho Wallace, that's his name. He feared for his life. Look at what kind of cops are policing here in this country. And here's the deal. People are not just going to keep laying down and letting these damn cops just murder them. All right? That's just what it is. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this story right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, your views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James and I'm out. Peace.